everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today's first video is going to be me cleaning my hamster's cage. Um, this is a 20 gallon tank if you guys were curious. Um, it is an amazing tank, she absolutely is in love with it. Um, I am really happy with this choice. This is the a um, dollar per gallon deal, so this was $20 because it was 20 gallons. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be cleaning my cage, and I thought that, okay, I do a pretty good job of this. I've done it at least four times now, so I thought I would share with you the way, the method, I clean my hamster cage. So I'm going to reposition the camera, and we're going to go ahead and get started. And before I reposition the camera, I want to show you um, all of the items I have here with me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items here with me, including the cage. Um, <clears throat> that I need to clean my hamster's cage. So um, the first item is I need a pan, and you'll see why. Um, I need a separate cage, and this is just a little one. She's only in here for about 10 minutes, so it's not really need to be big. So I put her in this little one with bedding, of course, with some of her old bedding in here, so I don't waste any new bedding. And yeah, <laughs> so I need that for sure. And obviously, food to refill. My hamster is in love with sunflower seeds. So it is the cutest insert video of her taking a sunflower seed. The cutest thing ever. Okay, so now that you've watched that, just want to let you know that this is what I give her. I give her um, sun seeds, something special, and she eats very good. Also, I have my um, bedding here. I need new one soon after this cleaning. Um, I also have trash bags in this little box here, well organized. Might need two of those, I'm not really sure. And I also have a um, surgery mask, and the reason is because it is so dusty um, when I take it out and it smells. So I just go ahead and put this thing on and I'm good to go. I have to position it to my nose and I'm good. <laughs> All right, so now so now I'm going to reposition the camera and we are going to go ahead get started cleaning this little angel's cage. <laughs> Alrighty everyone, so now we are back in the area that we need to be in. She's sleeping but she won't be for long. I feel so terrible. Um, before we wake her up, I'm going to start by taking her tubes, her food tank, her water bottle, her house, her wheel, all of that stuff out before I take her out. So we're going to start with the wheel. Go ahead and put that right there. The tubes, get all the bedding out that she's put in. The bedding. And I totally recommend this for um, some hamster moms. Um, I'm going to dump the food in here. Um, please go ahead. Let's say I had my wheel right here, so now I'm going to move it here, just so she has something to explore when she wakes up from her little nap. Okay, just a little tip. I'm going to take the water. Okay, there's still a lot in here, but I want to refresh it up. And now it's time to wake the little angel. Okay, so now we're going to wake her up. Pardon me, but I'm going to leave her out just so I can watch her. Um, I know it might be a little bright, but she can burrow, so she's, she's good. All right, let's position the camera and let's start cleaning. All right, everyone, so now we're going to need our baggies. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take a bag, and I will show you at the end of the video how to do one of these. If you're curious, just stay to the very end of this video. And let's open it, put some air into it. So I'm also, oh, I need my, I'm going to add this. Just so I have, wow, that's a lot of bedding. Just so I have a place to add this bag and I'm also going to curve it around the edges here to make it a 
little easier to put bedding inside. Just like that. Now I'm going to take bedding with the dust picker upper and I'm just going to pop it into the bag. Just like that. I'll take this off and hopefully you can hear me better. So let's go set that right there. Okay, so if you guys were curious, um, the way I hang your water bottle is by Velcro. So I stick Velcro right here, that's that white piece, and boom, stick it right there, and it's nice. Um, I'm going to change this water. Um, I only give her purified water. Um, it's good for hamsters, it's better than all the things that are in um, the toxins and all of the bad things in tap water, which is actually in her drawer in my room, so give me one second. Okay, so now that we have some purified water, we're going to go ahead, pour some in. And it's okay that I get some water in the tank because I wash it anyways. She has her own sponge that I use for her cage. And it's purple. <laughs> so we're gonna use that. I'm gonna wet it. Okay. Leave a little water in there and kind of completely drench it. Use the side. There's some leftover bedding in here. That's okay. Take it out when we can. Let me know if you want me to be one of those people who does those cool newspaper, th uh, not newspaper, um, wrapping paper on the back of their hamster's cage, because I really wanted to try that. I'm going to use this rag here and then throw it directly in their wash because hamsters spread a lot of diseases. So we're just going to do this. And parents, if your kid wants to get a hamster, my parents let me get one. Um, it's really, it's not that huge of a chore. I got a huge cage, so that's my thing. Um, a picture going onto the screen right now. Those types of cages are horrible for hamsters, and the reason is because um, they chew on the wires, and honestly, it's not good for their teeth, but it is good that you do get chews, chews for your hamster. Picture coming up on the screen right now. Now we're going to... This is my favorite part because now we're going to do a new spread of bedding. Hi everybody, this is the next day of me cleaning my hamster's cage. There was an issue of not uploading the full video yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do cleaning my hamster's cage part one and part two. So this is part one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and part two is coming real soon.